some commitment-free design ideas. Hi guys, my name is Sariha and welcome to my home here in Texas. So I started my DIY journey when we bought our current home in Houston about two years ago. I had never used power tools before then. So I decided to teach myself how to DIY and share my progress on Instagram. Since then, I have built a community that appreciates good design and the struggles of DIY. Today, I'm going to take you on a home tour to show you how I've decorated my space and I'll be pointing out some commitment-free design ideas along the way. So when we bought this home, this laundry room was very builder grade. It had nothing added to it, just these cabinets that the builders had installed. And I wanted to give it a more fresh, light and airy look. So the first thing I did was to paint the floor. We had basic gray tile in here and I bought a stencil off the internet. I got some chalk paint and got to work. So even though I've hand painted these tiles using a stencil, you could get peel and stick floor tiles and get the same look without the commitment. The next thing I did in here was to build this wood countertop, which is completely removable. All I needed for this was some plywood pieces and the hardware store cut it out for me. And I didn't even have a table saw when we started this project. So if I could do it without a table saw, you definitely can do it at home too. The stain I used in here is weathered oak and it plays off really well with this modern subway tile backsplash that we have in here. And it's not really backsplash, you guys. It's not really tile. It's just peel and stick and it cuts out really easily. So you can put it around your appliances or wherever you need to make a cut out. Board and batten walls are super trendy right now. I've done a permanent board and batten wall over here in my son's playroom, but I'm going to show you a way to do a board and batten wall which is reversible and damage free. So you're probably wondering how I'm going to attach this to the wall. Command strips. These boards are light enough to be held up by command strips. For the vertical pieces, I'm going to use four strips per board. So I've attached the vertical pieces and now I'm just going to measure the length for the piece that goes on top. Here it is, you guys, a temporary board and batten wall. If you want, you can leave it like this or paint over it, and it's perfectly removable. Just carefully lift off the board, and you have your Velcro command strip attached to the wall and attached to the board, so you can easily put it back without damaging the wall. Another commitment-free DIY tip is to use electrical tape to create a fun outline or pattern in your space. In my son's room, I've used green electrical tape to create this outline of the house around this tiny door that leads to the attic. Electrical tape comes in a lot of different colors and you can use black for a more dramatic effect. You could make a geometric pattern or if you're working with a kid's room, you could make a house just like this. My reversible trick for gallery walls is to use drywall picture hangers that don't damage the wall. They're stronger than command strips and no tools are needed. You just need to press them in and hang your artwork. So peel and stick wallpaper is super simple to install. Like the name suggests, you just peel off the backing and paste it onto the wall. And if you have any commitment issues, you can always carefully remove it without damaging the wall. I took it one step further by cutting out pieces of the wallpaper and extending the pattern out onto the door. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you feel inspired to try some commitment-free DIYs in your own homes.